Hi everyone, this is Egis from Greece. Wang Di, also known as the Yellow Emperor, was born and established in Karahir here in Zhengzhou. On April 3rd, the worship ceremony for the Yellow Emperor was held in Zhengzhou. Same roots, same ancestors, same origin, peace, friendship and harmony as the theme. Nine rituals were performed, including a 21-gun salute, a placing of flower basket, burning incense, worshipping the gods, singing odes, dancing, praying for China, and wishing for the harmony among the people, the heaven and the earth. As a foreigner here in Zhengzhou, I really appreciate their root-seeking culture. It can unite Chinese people all over the world and display their traditional Chinese culture. Today I've invited my friend Wang Jiaying. Hello everyone! We're going to talk about the achievements of the Yellow Emperor and the culture of the surname. How much do you know the Yellow Emperor? Well, I know that about 5,300 years ago, many tribes lived around the Yellow River in Hana. The Yellow Emperor unified the tribes and established a capital in Xinjiang, in Zhengzhou city. Yes, after unifying the tribes, he developed a united, harmonious and pioneering society, which provided the favorable conditions for the development of science, technology, culture and art. The Yellow Emperor period formed the early Golden Age for creation and invention in Chinese history. I saw the paper cutting and sculptures of the Yellow Emperor's team. There are Huang Di, Lei Zhu, Chan Jie, Ji Bo, Ling Lun, and Yao Xiong. So aside from the Yellow Emperor, who else do you know more about? Since I'm interested in Chinese silk and Chinese characters, I learned that Lei Zhu, the wife of the Yellow Emperor, invented the technique of sericulture and silk reeling. After that, the ancestors could keep warm wearing clothes made of silk. Chan Jie was the inventor of Chinese characters, with inspiration from the footprints of birds and other animals. You are absolutely right! Let me add the stories of Ling Lun, Qi Bo, and the Yu Xiong. Qi Bo is regarded as the ancestor of Chinese traditional medicine. After seeing many people suffering from diseases, he decided to study medicine. Ling Lun is regarded as the ancestor of Chinese music for his mastery of rhythm and the skill in making musical instruments. While Yu Xiong, now in Zheng, is the capital during the Yellow Emperor period, Xiong sounds like a bear in Chinese, so we turn it into a pet bear to travel back to ancient times to accompany the Yellow Emperor. So this is why you said earlier that the Yellow Emperor's period is the golden age of invention in Chinese history. I know also that many people in China share the same surname, and their surnames are related to the Yellow Emperor. Can you tell me more about the story of the surname? It is recorded in Guoyu that the Yellow Emperor had 25 children. 14 of them were given surnames. Dissidents of the Yellow Emperor established dozens of vassal states, such as the Xia, Shang, and the Zhou dynasties, and developed many different surnames. Having lived in Zhengzhou for many years, I can feel the city rapidly developing into an international city. But at the same time, it inherits and carries forward the excellent traditional Chinese culture. Zhengzhou has held many cultural events, such as the Yellow Emperor Worship Ceremony, touching the Yellow River and making everyone feel its profound cultural spirit. 